kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to use the Geo Fencing inside your Android application. Okay, so first of all, let me show you a demo of what the application will look like. So here you can see create and monitor Geo Fences in your Android application basically uh, we will display first of all the Google map okay and after that what we will do is we will create a circle and th that will be the boundary okay so now when the user enters or or leave the circle okay so we can generate a notification to the user or we can do any action after that okay so we need to detect if the user enters the location or if the user uh, exits the location all right and also we can check if the user is already inside the location i mean inside the circle or not so first of all let me show you a demo so here we will have i have this application okay and here we i am going to display the location and here you can see we have this location here and now if i click on any location inside our map so if i uh, if i click here so you can see the marker here okay and now i will go here and i will click on start geofence okay so if i click on start geofence as you guys now can see i we have this circle and if this user uh, moves out of the circle or if it I mean uh, enter this, this circle so we can notify and we can start an action alright so my tutorial will be a very simple tutorial so let's get started so first of all here we will uh, here we have this activity as my location activity and here I am already displaying the location using the Google Maps API okay it is a very simple code nothing very uh, complex so after the first the first step is we need to uh, integrate or add the interfaces so we can implement the interface so first of all the interface will be the google map dot on map click listener the second one will be on marker click listener okay and it is saying me now that you need to uh, implement the method on map click and on marker click so we go here and here we say on map click and on marker click all right and after that we need to go to our own ma uh, map ready method and inside here we need to say a map dot add sorry map dot set on marker click listener and we will pass this reference similarly we can say set on map click listener and we will say this all right this is the first step and after that inside our own map click method okay so first of all we need to uh, if the user clicks on any part of the map so we want to display or we want to add the the marker here okay so for that first of all we can say marker for geofence all right and instead of that we can pass the let it let long object here all right and it is saying me that the method does not exist so we can create the method and inside that method we can simply create our marker so for that we can use the marker options option marker equals to new marker options and we can first of all uh, set the position and the position will be the lat long and title will be the offense marker After that we now need to check if the map is not equal to null and now here we can check if 
okay so first of all we can initialize uh, a global variable called marker so we can say marker geofence marker and here we can check if geofence marker is not equal to null so here we can add the marker Okay, or sorry we need if that is not null so we need to remove it because we don't want the duplicate value so we can say geo marker dot remove and after that we can say geo fence marker equals to mmap dot add marker and inside that we can say options marker all right so now we have this and um, now whenever the user clicks on the map so now the a marker will be displayed here okay so now we need to add the circle uh, with that on that marker okay so for that first of all let's here uh, we have a menu as and here we need to add the and set the title as geo fence start geo fence okay and we set the id as start geo all right and after that inside our own options item selected method so we can check if item is dot get item id equals to so what the id we set start geo so we can say dot start geo so here we can first of all uh, we need to now start the geo fence so we can say start geo fence all right so now we need to create the method and inside that method we can say if geo fence marker is not equal to null and so we can create a geo fence object we can say create geofence and inside that we can say the we need to pass the uh, the marker location so we can say geofence marker dot get position and we need the radius okay so in my case we will have a 400 f so we mean 4 meters okay or 400 meters after that what we can do we can say geofence request so we need to uh, request for the geofence uh, so we can say the uh, request request to create geo request and inside that we need to pass the geofence okay so before going forward we can uh, initialize our geofencing request as global and we then remove that so after that we can say we need to now add the geofence and here we can pass the geofence object here alright so now first of all we need to create these three methods so for that what we can do here so let's create the first of all the create geofence click uh, press alt enter and select create method so first of all
the method will be uh, the create view offense and here we will create a um, the geofence build using the geofence builder so we first of all we can say return new geofence dot builder and we first of all need to have a request id and we simply can say my geofence alright also we can set the circular region and for our circular region we can say uh, position dot latitude position dot longitude and with it we can pass the radius as b and also we can have the set expiration duration okay so it means we will have uh, whenever uh, there will be a time so after that time the intent uh, for the uh, i mean the geofencing will be stopped so here we can have an expiration time as 60 dot 60 dot multiply by 1000 all right and also we can say set transition types and we can have the type geofence dot geofence enter or geofence dot geofence exit all right and finally we can say dot build after that we need to have create this create geo request uh, geofencing request so click press alt enter and inside that you can have we also need to return new geofencing request dot builder and we can also say set initial trigger and for that we can say geofencing request dot initial triggering trigger enter alright and after that we can say dot add geofence and here we can pass the geofence object and we can say dot build alright so after that we also now need to add uh, the method add geofence so now we need to add the, the geofence alright so after this add the geofence so we can say location services dot geofencing api dot add geofences and with it we can say client geo request then the third one will be our create geofencing intent filter sorry pending intent alright and finally we can say dot set result callback and we can pass this ok so we forgot to add another one this here so here we will have the result callback here we can pass the status alright so now it is saying that you need to implement the method uh, on result so we can say on result and inside on our own result method we need to now draw the geofence and now first of all 
after we have this all right now we need to have create this uh, all right so now we will uh, to create it later so first of all let's create the draw geofences method so for that here first of all let's have our global variable as circle geofence limits okay and then we can draw it so we can say if geofence limits is not equal to null so we first of all need to remove the geofence and after that we need to add the circle using circle options new circle options similarly we can first of all um, make a center at geofence marker dot get position and then we need a set sorry stroke color and here we can say color dot argb 50 70 70 70 and we will have a fill color LED 100 150 150 150 and we will have a radius of 400 F alright after that we will just add it so for that we can say geo fencing fence limits equals to and map dot add circle and inside there we can pass our circle options so after that now we need to create this so for that so we have the method uh, private pending intent create pending uh, geofencing pending intent and here we now can check if so first of all let's have the pending intent as geofence pending intent alright so now first of all we can check if geo Fence pending intent is not equal to null. So all right. So now we will just uh, return the geofence in pending intent. After that, we can uh, start our service for the. Uh, intent service so for that we can say intent i equals to new intent and we will pass this and geofence transition service dot class and we can simply say return pending intent dot get service and inside there we can say this and zero then we pass intent and then pending intent dot flag update current all right so now we need to create a class named geofence uh, transition service so for that we can start a new class and here we will create the class and to remove this error let's click on alt enter and select add permission check and after that we have now this class so guys in my next video i am going to uh, write the code for our geo service class all right so if you like the video please like share and subscribe Good